I'm here with uh, Naveen Chopra, fellow real estate agent and uh, close personal friend as well. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Michael. Hey, thanks for being it. here. Appreciate it as well. I wanted to bring you out and talk about the development you're working on right now, but also I'd like to take these opportunities to challenge real estate questions for people, give them some more information to work with and analyze the market and the things that's going on and what they're doing too. I know you got your finger on the pulse of the pre-construction game. Yep. You've been doing it for a long time. So how about you introduce, give us a background of why the heck you got into real estate <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and go from there. Sure, sounds good. The reason for getting into real estate, uh, I come from a family business and during those years of working with the family, real estate was always a conversation within the family of what to invest in. Parents were always strong believers of the old line of, hey, the best investment is real estate. God ain't making any more of it. Buy it while you can. Of course, and yeah. It's a cultural it's thing. It's a cultural too, right? thing. You hear from everyone that has their mindset on real estate investments. They really believe in it. So, or even a pride of ownership too. Yeah, for families of owning, yeah. getting a bigger house. When we just grew up, it a wasn't roof over your head. Yeah, just having something. But like when we grew up, for all our culture, it was the vacations and stuff weren't the big things. It's having the bigger house and moving on to a bigger property. The family's growing. Real estate, family's growing. It was always a pride of ownership with that. So yeah, getting, I had the opportunity to get in, getting into real estate, it was always, hey, I'm gonna do resale. I'm gonna do resale. And while I was doing that, getting just first brand new, doing an open house for someone and someone introduced me to go pick up their open house signs. Okay. So I went to a sales office. They're sitting in a Risto Home sales office off of Box Grove, okay. 407 and 9th line. Could remember like it's yesterday. <laughs> uh, and just when I walked in there, I seen Russell, Russell, people looking at floor plans on the walls, the energy everywhere. So totally I different up this, environment of real estate, right? Completely different. I pick up the signs, I go do this open house, where I believe two people showed up. <laughs> I'm saying, what am I doing here? Go back, drop off the signs, go home. Monday comes around. I have a meeting with the person that I was doing the opening open house for to happen to be Nicole Lombardi. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Now. So as she asked how the open house went, I let her know, hey, uh, a little bit slow, a little bit different than what I expected, but what was happening in that sales office? What's the deal with that? And she looks at me with a smile. Why are you interested in that? Is that something you'll be? I go, yeah, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't commit myself to it right now, but yeah, I would definitely else. never yeah. say no to it. And she was like, timing's great because we're looking for new sales reps. And How long they were that? just group 15 years. 15 years ago. Okay. And since 15 years, not to say I don't do resale. I will do resale for friends and family. I don't pursue it as much, but from there on, it was pre-construction, selling new homes for the builder. So for the last 15 years, pretty much pre-construction, obviously Has been you've done resale. Yeah. Myself and the company here at Agents of Real Estate, we do both resale and pre-construction. Yep. But I see the attraction of the pre-construction. And what drove me to pre-construction was to learn the business more through the eyes of pre-construction. And I call it like a, a retail environment. Yeah. Whereas it is like resale, resale is the version, and I come from consumer other other businesses, products and services, as yep. well as services. When you're dealing with a general store or product store, it is a different experience than if you're dealing with commission-based sales and more of an aggressive nature kind of exactly. in terms of selling and closing customers. And I really like the, the kind of retail environment because it pre presents a new product, more Conversation Warranties, with people. guarantees. Yeah, more safety for consumers. Choices too. More choices. You walk into a home pre construction, you know you're going to choose your colors, your upgrades, all that's available for you rather than resale. Uh, getting, at the end of it, you're buying someone else's home, right? Correct. Yeah, it you're wasn't buying. tailored to you. Correct. Now you're getting a little bit more, although it's not a custom home, you are getting some of those options available to you without so, so paying yeah, the that's high what attracted prices. Me to the pre construction was. How do, how do we bring forward this kind of feeling? Not so much you can't really say, here's a resale home, let's choose your selections. Yeah. But let's bring this environment where people are treated like welcoming into a home, welcoming them into your business, and exactly. showing them options and, and treating them a little bit better or maybe with some more security or added value. And especially with low rise when you have different lots to choose from, different homes can fit on the same lot. 
so many more options. So many more Different options. closing yeah. dates, different lot sizes, some backing onto ravines, some not, premiums. It gives you so much more pie shapes are available. The opportunity is there to really get what you want and your needs for your family. You may have a small family, don't need a big backyard. Yeah. You may have a larger one, kids play soccer. You want a big pie-shaped lot so right. your kids are playing in the background and that's something you want. Maybe you want a pool-sized lot. All those options you've, are usually there options, in new yeah. developments, right? You also have the advantage of time sometimes where if you're buying earlier in the stages of development, you have time until you have to close it. Yeah. So you, you have cash flow time, you have a little more flexibility. A little bit more planning. A little more planning, security. And for a lot of people, just having more time and making that decision helps. Not helps, everyone yeah. is ready to jump in a home within three months from when they first look. Yeah, I think or the their first is about 90 days. Yeah. yeah, 90 days doesn't give a lot of time. But when you have a year plus, you could do a lot of planning. You a get, lot of investments could get moved around, a lot of savings can be moved around and gives you a lot of opportunity to really work your way up to it and get comfortable in that situation. So one, one thing I caught you say was that even 15 years ago, you saw the hustle bustle of pre-construction. Yeah. So it's been going on for a long time. You know, well, we're, we're all familiar with the market. We're all, a lot of people have been hearing about the market over the last 15, 20 years and it's growth and yep. it's affordability issues and the peak price points. And they've all happened on repeat. And, the yeah. ups and downs. When I started 2008, 2009, if you're in the same position, you're just coming off the biggest American crisis in no, housing. 2008 housing right? crisis, yeah. Yeah, so prices were still low, sales were still slow, and then just coming out of that. It just blew up again. Blew up over yeah. and over. All, and for a, there were small pauses in between. And what I've been noticing, the cycle's just been happening. Quicker and, and it's quicker. been longer than So you years. had, yeah. It's and been at least 20, 25 years that we've been going on this. Up and down, straight, straight up, up but much. some With small pauses in between. But if you're noticing and you pay attention to them, the blips are coming quicker. Yes. And the recovery is coming quicker. So, yeah, you have to be used to these up and downs, and the experienced investor will know not to panic and hold. Yeah. And also will know not to extend themselves. Of course. Always. Buy in the intentions of long term. If short term works out, great, good for you. Go ahead, take that quick flip and let's do it again. But don't get stuck in a position where the short term was your only game, it didn't work out, and now you're working at a loss. That's, you might get turned well, That's off. what we, as real estate agents, and even with people, we talk about this all the time about affordability, okay? Yeah. And the development that we we're going to talk about today is in a totally different area, okay? But yep. it's in Simcoe, Simcoe County. Norfolk. Sim sorry, Simcoe in Norfolk County, Norfolk out County. west. Okay. Yeah. Out west, near London. Yeah, just uh, on top of Port Dover. On top of Port Dover, okay. But we talk about a lot of people in the area of GTA, GTA bound, talk about affordability. Yeah. And I would argue on the affordability factor is multi-pronged, whereas, okay, we need more income, maybe more jobs or better income paying jobs, but also GTA is growing. I think, hey, if you find a job that pays and you can afford to live in Toronto, God, God bless and, and good for you. But if not, you have to plan to live first. You have to plan exactly. for your household, for whether you want a family, whether you want yourself. But you need a roof over your head. And, and the opportunity to be able to buy, right? If you keep thinking, I could only buy in the GTA, I'm only going to buy in the GTA, the prices are not going down. No. To keep up with that appreciation, it's hard for anyone to say, I'm going to save for another two years and then I'll buy. Guess what? The appreciation outdid your savings over and over again. That's uh, a good point. So if you had say, for example, bought in a community where you did, you know, wasn't your first choice or you had hoped would have been an hour closer to where you wanted to be, that appreciation would have helped you get there one day. Get your step. Yeah. So take that first step into owning something, owning somewhere, owning where you can within afford. Within your means. And, within your means. and where you're ready now. When's the best time to buy? It's, so you strengthen your now. position. You start now, you get your and position And now strong. you're growing. It doesn't mean that you're not saving money also. Because that appreciation right? plus the payments you're plus making. What, on. Plus the payments plus what you're saving now over those two years. Yeah. Now you can work your way back into your dream location. So you're camping for savings plus appreciation. Plus appreciation. So you're missing out on that part. Yeah, when you just save, you're, you're missing out on appreciation. The mortgage will make you disciplined because you exactly. have to pay it anyway. So I know a lot of people tell me that as well. Yeah. It gets um, you thinking in the right direction. And obviously, and even if you choose not 
to move there. So I've done it in the past where I've owned properties. I did not live there, maybe uh, for the first year I did, but then I wanted to change locations. Still wasn't, couldn't afford that location, but I rented in that location, okay. but I was still a property owner. Okay. And while that appreciated, I paid rent somewhere else, Okay. But it equaled out. It equaled out. But at least I gained on the appreciation. You still got the appreciation. I was in the market. Huh. Okay. So it's, oh, you don't always have to live in. Now, the there are yeah. benefits to it. Now, tax yeah, now, wise, on the appreciation but, scale, we do need to take into account that there's never a guarantee that it would have appreciated to the number you want when you want the money out. No. So, no, like it's not for say, okay, four years, I'm guaranteed to have appreciation. But no. over time, that appreciation will be there. And we're and talking, could you're be trying 10, to 15, 20 years, but. You're keeping up with the market, you're right? Keeping up with, yeah. At least if it appreciates here, it's pre everything, the real estate market is appreciating. You're, you have a property, you're keeping up with that appreciation. Correct. Now, if you don't have a property and it appreciates and you're just paying rent, unfortunately, there's no gains. There's no gain. Now you're just further behind. You do have your savings. But again, if you had. The original savings already in a home yeah. that's appreciated. Plus, yeah.